God has blessed me through this church family and community greatly. Um, just one of the many ways is giving me an environment where I can learn and make mistakes and really just craft the gift that I feel God has given me, which is worship and music. One of the reasons I think we need a new building to help with the worship department and the music ministry is to grow the music school. And Wesley Boyce has done an incredible job starting the music school and training up new musicians and beginning at a very young age, cultivating them and developing them and seeing if they have a heart for it and they have a capacity for it. And our ultimate goal is to be able to train them up into the worship band and into, you know, starting into a kids band, starting in playing in the youth group. And we need more space for that. We just do not have the space. We don't have the classroom hours that are required to develop that. And there are so many worship leaders that we have right now that have different skill sets and they have different types of worship that they specialize in. And we want to do so many more things with worship. We want to do so much more worship. And we just don't have space for it. One of the songs that Jared wrote was about our son Mark. And it was talking about how we will still sing until the walls come down. And even if we don't see all the results that we want to see right now, that we trust in God and that the walls will come down and that we're gonna still praise the Lord until that happens. And that was one of the first songs that I could see something change in the congregation when Jared was singing it. And then he spoke on worship and he shared for the first time a very vulnerable thing for us. I'd only shared it in our small group and with my immediate family that Mark had autism. And so he shared something very personal and after that, we had many people in the church emailing and contacting us, and not only encouraging us, but also sharing very vulnerable things that they hadn't shared before. And it made me so happy that we allowed that vulnerability to be shown, because I know the feeling of not wanting to share something, because you think you're protecting a loved one, when really, you're not allowing God to strengthen you, and you're not allowing God to do something far bigger than what your current hurt is. There's something so powerful about not just believing that you know you trust in God and, and, and thinking it and remembering it, but when you actually raise your voice and, and say it aloud, it has such power to it. And then when you hear other believers saying it aloud with you, just hearing everyone sing and say that they're gonna they're going to continue to praise and continue to sing no matter what's going on. It's so powerful when you hear everyone singing together. I want to teach the generation and I know that that's huge for Jared and I think it's, it's so important. We don't know what they're going to go through, but they're going to remember you keep singing and you keep praising God. 